Big videos and arguing. Let's get back to money and marketing. Telling these niggas I don't know who you targeting, but I feel like Iron Man. I can with the frying pan steady heating up your hands to these niggas. I'm gonna mess the words on to these niggas. You know I feel like I'm frozen. I'm just stuck in the mix to these niggas. You know I can with diamonds up on my wrist, but that's what I'm thinking about to these niggas. You don't know what you talking about. Run up with the cash, the digital. These niggas I'm getting it critical. Knock at your head talking about a critical hit to these niggas. I'm too legit to quit making money in my day job. Tell these niggas I might us rob. Rob your baby mama, baby friend to these niggas. I just had to disband, pull up in the op. And then I spent, spent on the pussy nigga. But ain't on me to these niggas. I feel like the real OG. Backing on bridges, backing on me to these niggas. Got cash in my pocket. Taking up like a motherfucking record. Stepping on business. Standing on business for show though. Telling these niggas pull up in the two, not the photo. These niggas can't flash no photo. Making money up, passing no though. Tell these niggas kicking shit like karate. Tell these niggas get these bitches up my body. Making too much money to stay at home. Tell these niggas I really feel alone. Live alone in my mental war zone. Take these niggas to live alone by myself. I really ain't got nobody to help me. I just be crying all alone in my home. To be crying alone in the Hyundai. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm just voicing my opinion on how I feel about myself. Let me stop. Some of that was true, but let me stop. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man, and today we got It's Over Before It Started. Now, people been talking about this, this Mike Tyson and Logan Paul fight. And the way I see it, Logan keep doing what he doing. Floyd gonna wash your ass. He, sure he old, and that stamina might be not as good. But I've been seeing certain videos, and you fat, my brother. You fat. You needs to get to work before he puts the works on you. And yes, I'm betting all my money on Floyd. Um, I'll take I'll take it out of the deposit. I'll I'll go to prize picks, whatever. I'm betting all my money on Floyd. That's that's how I, that's what I'm standing on. Without that being said, let's get to the bar video. Video by Jamari. Make sure to go watch his videos, subscribe. And without that being said, let's get started. Since they announced the fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson a couple of months back, a lot of people were very skeptical of the entire event. You had those who were saying this was absolutely pathetic and that Jake Paul should be jailed for fighting a man who is three years away from being a senior citizen. Mm. You had others saying it would be rigged from the start. But I'm sure you have some opinions about Jake Paul <laughs> <laughs> Um... <laughs> Honestly, I just think it's sad, bro. I think it's super sad. You know, overall, there was a lot of controversy surrounding this matchup, especially once they announced that it would be a sanctioned bout that would appear on both fighters' overall record. Mm. We saw Mike training hard. <laughs> Why did they post that clip of this nigga running side? <laughs> that nigga like he was trying to get away from a bug buzzing in his ear. <laughs> Let me stop, but Mike is a amazing boxer, you know, back in his prime. I don't know if he's still good. Well, I've seen certain clips. That nigga's a beast, but, you know, like he said, he's three years away from being a senior citizen. Come on now. That's, that's just... Saw Jake trolling as usual. You heard it right, mother... I'm fighting Mike Tyson, but now, due to recent developments, it looks like this fight might actually be over before it ever even starts. And this would be the last official piece of training footage that we would receive from Mike Tyson and his camp. This was posted all the way back on May 7th. And like a lot of the videos that we've seen before, it's just Mike training on the pads. <laughs> So he's still looking very fast, he's looking really explosive, but like all the other clips, this video is all cut up, and we still have not seen him fighting for a sustained period of time. They would actually head out to Dallas, Texas, where they would do this face-off. And now we say hello to the main eventers, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. So you know how all these people are going back to school, oh, and you're like... Oh, this ain't fake. Oh, oh, wait a minute. No! 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 Between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson a couple of months back, a lot of people were very skeptical of the entire event. You had those who were saying this was absolutely pathetic, and that Jake Paul should be jailed for fighting a man who is three years away from being a senior and we still have not seen him fighting for a sustained period my of bad. time. My fault. They would actually head out to Dallas, Texas, where they would do this face-off. And now we say hello to the main eventers. 
Jake Paul, and Mike Tyson. So as you guys can see, Jake even has a little bit of height on Mike Tyson. And this is by far the heaviest that we've ever seen, Jake. I believe they're fighting at around 200 pounds. Jake would do his best to intimidate Mike Tyson. And obviously, Mike would remain relatively unfazed by the Disney star. Now, when I say that these two have a different definition of intimidation tactics, I really do mean it. Jake is over there doing that dumb shit, while Mike is out here saying psycho shit like this. I want to kiss Mike's big juicy lips. He wanted to kiss me? <laughs> he he Indeed. Huh? He said he wanted to kiss you. That's so ironic that he said that because I saw a picture of him dancing at 16 doing a little dance on yeah. YouTube and for some reason I had a reject an erection. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Nui. You knew we. <laughs> Never change, Mike. Never change. I saw a picture of him dancing at 16 doing a little dance on yeah. YouTube, and for some reason I had a reject an erection. Can you guys even imagine how wild Mike would have been on social media back in his prime? He would have been talking all kinds of crazy shit. He likely would have made Ryan Garcia look like the most sane person in the room. Now this clip right here really just puts on display everything wrong with the current generation of TikTok kids. Who would train me better, Jake or, Jake or you, Mike? Who, me, definitely me. Uh, older fighters have more heart and balls and weren't afraid, but I think the newer fighters have more skill and technique and are sharper. So that's why I'd be a better coach. And so that was a fine question, but then here comes the kicker. Here comes the real question that was on this kid's mind. Anti shit. So, so, so you think he has bigger balls? Who, who do you think's got a higher body count? What's your body count, Jake? What's your no. body count? Uh, I mean, I yeah. No. Yeah. Where is this kid's mother? <laughs> Jake, you think yours is higher? Kids these days are so mentally damaged, and I honestly cannot even blame them for being this way. I'm sure when this kid was about three years old, he had a tablet in his face, watching TikToks and YouTube shorts, getting red pills in his brain at the age of five. You're broke! You're fucking poor! I mean, I'm serious when I say this generation really does not have a chance. And obviously, ever Whoa. since this event was announced, you had a lot of critics basically saying that no one was going to give a shit and that no one was excited to see this. But I personally do think this will be a sold out fight simply because Mike Tyson is involved. And there's a lot of people out there who think, well, this might be the last chance or the only chance I ever get to see him fight. I don't give a shit if it's against a Disney star or if it's against a dead dog. I'm fucking going. I mean, I think the fanboys in this next clip really speak for themselves. Your child needs these. I need you to be quiet. Wearing a Team Jake shirt, please reevaluate your life decisions, young man. Let's go, Jake Paul! Mike Tyson! Mike Tyson! Mike Tyson! What do you think the outcome of this fight is going to be? Mike Tyson all the way, bro. Mike Tyson all the way. Hey, brother, I'll give you 100 bucks if you say Jake Paul is going to win this fight. I mean, they even brought in Neon's cousin to talk his shit. <laughs> Jake would continue to troll with the infamous Mike Tyson face tat. He had this guy doing the Evander Holyfield bit and ear bit. Got that nasty ass ear up in his mouth. A mere week ago, Netflix was dropping promotional material like this, saying that the fight was two months away. But sadly, guys, it's looking like the fight is now not two months away, as there is all kinds of trouble in paradise. So a couple of days back, we got this breaking update. Mike Tyson reportedly suffered a medical emergency while getting on a plane last night. No. Of course, a lot of people were wondering, well, what the hell happened to Mike? 
And now you had even more people saying that Jake Paul was wrong for taking this fight against an old man. We would then learn that his medical emergency was reportedly an ulcer flare-up, which kind of just more signifies his senior citizen status. I mean, I do think ulcers can really f*** you up and even be, like, fatal in some cases. Mm. And even after that news dropped, Jake Paul would take to his podcast to promise that he's gonna f*** Mike Tyson up. Oh, I'm certain I'm gonna win. I'm gonna, I'm gonna f*** him up. Hell yeah. No, like, for sure. It, and it, and it, might, it might just be easy, actually. He doesn't want that smoke. He's like, I'm gonna punch that old man right in his ulcer. And it's a pro fight now, so it's just war. Hell yeah. I'm gonna f*** him up, but... I'm excited, In the man. most respectful way possible, because I, I do love him. But, you know, yeah. you can love a, a son, and you still have to discipline him. Nah, that's a crazy f***ing sentence. I mean, really personally, good. I hope that we get to see Mike beat the brakes off of Jake Paul. And here was Jake's little motivational speech to his fans. Here we are. Biggest moment of my life. Biggest stage from Vine to a stadium. <laughs> 80,000 people breaking records, the highest gate ever. This is a, oh, a testament to hard work, dedication, manifestation. Dallas was the first place I went to for a fan meetup when I was 17 years old off of Vine. Now back here, the biggest stadium possible. And that's why I do have to say, no matter how you feel about this guy, because obviously a lot of people hate him, it is pretty crazy to go from Disney Channel and Vine to doing all this crazy shit. And the f***er does know how to sell a fight. Now in response to this, Mike would say that he's now feeling 100%, even though he doesn't even need to be to beat Jake Paul's ass. He would then post this footage in the Dino Stepper 11s. <laughs> And while he might have thought he was good, I guess that the doctors didn't agree. And then we got this announcement that the fight would now be postponed. Unfortunately, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson will not face off on July 20th as planned. Mike's recent ulcer flare-up has limited his ability to train fully for the next few weeks. The fight will be rescheduled for a date later this year after Mike's able to resume training with no limitations, and both fighters can have equal time to prepare for this once-in-a-lifetime matchup. Jake would then respond to the event getting postponed. Obviously, devastating news. I'm heartbroken, speechless, like gutted. We've been working so hard over here, everyone in this camp. And I just feel bad for everyone involved in this event. The whole undercard, this is opportunity has been ripped from all of us. But I do uh, value Mike's health first and foremost. Love that guy. I have so much respect for him. And I want Mike to be healthy. And he says he still is going to knock me out and i bought myself some time so mike is still talking shit over there uh but mike if you want to do this like you said behind closed doors behind the scenes you've said you want to do this in q4 you just need a little bit of time so i'm ready whenever you are this is too big of an opportunity the universe makes no mistakes so let's see what's in store but sorry this didn't work out to everyone the fans love you guys so now he's talking about oh it's going to happen in q4 meaning it's going to happen in the last three months of the year Honestly, at this point, I think that they might be just better off calling off this fight and maybe having Jake fight someone else on Netflix. Of course, Logan Paul had to step in to try and make it about himself where he says, So Mike Tyson's out. I'll step in and we can settle this once and for all. I do think when it comes to influencer boxing, this will be the fight to end all fights. Knowing them, they will orchestrate what's essentially the final scene in Rocky II. But as Jake Paul is laying there on the ground going along with the act, Logan's ego is not going to be able to take it, and he's going to stab his brother in the back, stand the fuck up, and drink a bottle of Prime in everyone's face. But yeah, guys, at this point, I would not be surprised if the fight does not happen. With the latest update in the news, I am sort of gravitating towards the camp that this should not happen at all. I, of course, want to know what you guys think down below. Also want to thank... Thank you, my... Oh, it's coming down. Looks like I'm not going nowhere, if you feel what I'm saying. But yeah, at first... You know, when, now that I hear this, it's like, damn, I forgot Mike is old, old. So it's like, at the end of the day, even if, you know, it's a lose-lose situation to Jake Paul. Because it's like, A, you're fighting a, basically a senior citizen. You're weird as hell. And, you know, and B, if you actually lose, you go all bad for losing to a senior citizen. That's a world-renowned, everybody knows this nigga type boxer, like... You know, like I said, I still got my money on Mike Wood, but whether that nigga has got health problems or not. Anyways, let me know how y'all feel about this video.
Dick Paul, Nick White, fight 76-year-old Arnold Swart. If he do that, oh, no. No. You're weird. It's, yeah, you're, yeah. I will do one push-up every life this comic gets. Well, you need to do five point five thousand push ups Yeah. Dick Paul ain't selling tickets. Mike Tyson is the same is the name selling ticket. The fight has been controversial from the start and postponing it further fuels the outs is concerned how far attainers are willing to go for views and money. It really is. Ah, uh, that, that it's just sad to me. But it, anyways, it's your boy OGT Man signing out. You did it. You did it.